Hi all, it's my last two rounds of that Art Jets recorded play session I did before the patch dropped. These last two rounds of it um, were pretty interesting, had to mix in some different kind of units into the composition uh, to respond to certain things. I think they made for pretty good matches. See what you think for yourself. Entreri, an int. Will the trees go to war and stop me? I'm gonna keep opening with it until I learn what makes it bad. Uh, elite Specialist I feel like it won't work as well with, but maybe it will. And it's like my best opener of it here. Elite Specialist just changes all the rules, but you know what? Let's give it a go. If I can, I, I think this is the round I lose trying to make this work with Elite Specialist. Because Elite Specialist can really just mix everything up, like the way your units cost more. But, you know, it's fun to try different things. We don't want to do the same thing over and over. We want to try different things because that helps us be better players in general. Helps us learn. Failure is the best teacher, always. In the video games where you don't die in real life when you die in the video game, you know, losing uh, is important for learning how to do things. So, Mustangs and Marksmen against Sledge's Arcs. I'm decently happy with that. Um, what I'm not super happy with is to get two level two units out, I have to recycle one of mine. Um... I might. I might go for two units of level 2 fangs here. Which, if they go heavy into crawlers, does get me. But I can always buy the sledges again later. Let's do it. So we're going to do field recovery. Elite, this field recovery elite specialist opening. We're going to go two units of fangs. I don't think fangs are like a very strong unit to open with in general. Maybe we should go crawlers instead. Because crawlers here, unless they go for arc lights, unless they're like giga brained, will mess them up. Uh, way harder than Fangs will because I don't want to get their marksmen. Crawlers are way better against marksmen than otherwise. So we go like this. A little bit slow my deployment here. Let's let's hurry up. Let's get this get this stuff deployed so I don't look like an idiot with all my stuff out of position when the battle starts, which is definitely the way I'm heading right now. All right, let's see here. Now I hope they didn't get arc lights. No, they got more marksmen, so this is good for me. Now, the Mustangs are really the only things that can stop me here with the level 2 crawlers. Uh, I think. So it's all going to come down to... That is a lot of marksmen. I'm really glad I didn't go fangs. Can the crawlers defeat the arc lights? Is the big question here. Because too much of my front line goes down. But these are level 2 crawlers. They're pretty tough. They're getting in amongst the Mustangs. You're going to rip them up. They are getting detrited by all that fire, but they get through. Oh yeah, Crawlers was the right choice. I think Fangs would have got slaughtered here. Because the big thing about when the enemy goes for heavy marksmen, and I've learned this... Oh, my telephone is... I, I can't answer this right now. I have to. Hang on. One sec. Hello? ...has been notified many times and has now been collected. What? For details, please press 8. What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Um, I won. Looking back, I see I won. Uh, not as well as I would have liked to. Oh, this could be nice this round. Uh, you have to expect arc lights from them or sledges here. Um, though they don't have the money to get a lot of sledges. Um, arc lights would be the most sensible thing. I could get... What could I get? I'm an elite specialist, so everything I do is going to be a bit slower if I want to go for 200 cost units here. Going heavier into crawlers here really feels like a mistake because they'll just be like, okay, well, I'm going to get our clients. Like, cool, cool trick, buddy. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Assault fangs does make fangs way better against the marksmen, but makes them worse against arcs, which is a problem. Um, Rhino Assault buys me some time here, I think. Just drop a Rhino Assault um, to deal with what they're likely to do with a bunch of arc lights and stuff. Upgrade these Crawlers, uh, nonetheless. And then, I don't really want to go into Marksman too much, but maybe some Marksman here. I can't really afford anything else right now, is the thing, because I'm Elite Specialist. And this does slow you down a bit of Elite Specialist. Unless I recycle even more units. But I think those Sledges do provide an important role, I don't want to get rid of them. Uh, let's get two units of Marksman to try and defeat. I reckon they're going to go Arky Lights. Let's go Rhino, like, leading the charge over here. They might do Rhino 2. So, like, having the Marksman in general here is good. Because they might drop it right there. Yep. Man, should I put a, a flanking unit here? 
I mean, sorry, a, a defensive unit here. No, the Arclight will handle it. Kind of. Yeah, we should be okay. No, they have a marksman to shoot it. No! Oh, that sucks. This other marksman got stuck on movement and didn't help kill it, and I lose a marksman now. That could be really bad for me. Really, like, pivotally bad. They get balls, interestingly. Big brain. They don't go for the crowd control counter that my ball uh, crawls at all. They're like, no, I'm just going to body through you. Which, you know, the, the balls do tank long enough to let the, marks, the Mustangs do their job. So it's definitely, you know, not a bad strategy here. It's probably going to beat me. I think especially because I lost that extra marksman that could have killed the balls quicker. Um, it looks like my level 3 callers may still win on the right, but I'm going to lose on the left is the problem. And that means that this marksman will kill my marksman before my crawler can take out the tower, which is pivotally bad here too. And then it's just like three crawlers v... It won't, it won't be enough. It won't quite be enough, unfortunately. I don't think, anyway. Unless, I mean, if you kill this... Don't let him kill the tower. This could work? No, because you're going to go to the next one next. If you aggro on the marksman, I maybe win. You don't. This could, like, work... No, it won't work. There's, there's, there's literally no way, because even damage lowered, the crawl is just... Oh, they do have enough health with damage lowered to actually survive a marksman shot. Okay, so kill, kill it. Kill it before I get yours. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. Okay, now what we need to do is we need these crawlers to kill this tower just as they're about to shoot my crawlers, but just before they do. And then maybe somehow... Oh, it's not gonna... They're gonna kill... Oh, what? No. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. We tried, gamers. We tried. Drag specialists, um, especially because their comp depends so much on marksmen, this feels like a great time to go for this. Um, if I have the money to get it done. We're going to go strike specialist, upgrade you. Um, as always, Mustang's in the back, you know what, we know it, we, we love it, or we hate it, either way, it's a thing. Um, we're going to go for, I'm not really thinking about what they're doing here, so I'm kind of still weak to air is a problem. What we want to do, we want armored arc lights. I don't know if this is really going to work, but even if it just like ties them up for a while against the units they're worst against, it's like fine. I need to get the Stangs onto you, but the Marksmen onto you. Like I can't, I can't let those damn balls, that's better, ugh. Okay, like this, and I think this works out. Um, I'm a bit scared overall that I haven't beefed up my front lines. Let's also just do like this and maybe this. So they just go for more marksmen. They're, you know, we know that we're going for that really. They're going for that really strong marksman core. Uh oh, the balls are going for my arc light, so it's gonna die. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> oh no. Sometimes the the direction arrows can like lie to you a little bit, and it's like it actually doesn't work out things are aggroing exactly the way they promised they would, but that's okay, because it still works here. It ties up the marksman, gets past the balls, football, touchdown, charge! Uh, take down the tower. Kills most of the Mustangs still. They're going for this, like, strong marksman core strategy, which you see is very popular at my level. I see it a lot. The thing is, I think it's weakest when pulled apart with my maneuver, my new, like, maneuver battle I'm spamming lately, my new maneuver battle kind of strategy, because it relies on having your front line tank long enough while your critical mass of marksmen just obliterates everything. If we commit hard to the flanks of crawlers here, we get in on the marksmen quicker, um, and with, with things that you can't just answer by just having a bunch of crowd clear on your front line, because I'm going to do it to you on all three sides at once. So I think, especially going for the, the crawlers here instead of fangs, like, helps with this a lot too. Barrier, mass-produced rhino, portable shield <laughs> on the crawlers. Actually, not the dumbest idea because of missiles. Um, charged ammo. You need to equip this item, produce electromagnetic interference with their attacks, temporarily disabling their tech of enemy units and decreasing their movement speed of 40%. Um, no. Like, is Rhino good here to add to the flanks? No, not really. We have the arc lights for that. I might be really dumb, but I kind of want to do this. Okay, now, now hear me out here. This prevents them from getting missile. <laughs> Look, now let him cook. Now hear me out here. I've never put a portable shield on crawlers before, but it was a first time for anything. I think we want another unit of them here um, to make sure the balls don't get the arc light as well. They should really get an arc light of their own here. I wonder if they will. Um, I need to upgrade in the center. Definitely upgrade my crawlers all over the place. It would have been nice to get that subsidized crawlers upgrade early, but I didn't. Um, but the crawlers are doing a great job here, so keep it up, you know. 
Um, and if I get another unit of crawlers here, oh, wow, 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 maybe diversify now and get some phoenixes. Rather than trying to go for this flank too hard, just diversify and get some phoenixes, which can help kill the balls. I need to kill these balls. These balls are too strong, and I'm also weak in single target and AA. So we go like this, right? We go like this. Stay really far back so the marksmen don't snipe you, but your, your plan is to get the balls here. I am really weak to something nasty happening to me here, like something unexpected, but what do they do instead? They get extra damage on their armor piercing. I don't think that helps you, buddy. I think they're hoping that'll help them kill the armor-enhanced arc lights. They are wrong. It will not. They put portable shields on their balls. I, a genius, put them on my crawlers. <laughs> Unfortunately, the range-enhanced marksmen do get to the phoenixes still. I need to give my phoenixes range enhancement too. I don't get through on the flank this time, so that's scary. I think just like... The, the marksman killed the crawlers quick enough. I do win in general, though. Wait, what was that? What got that? My marksman, maybe? Really good, nonetheless. Oh, they did get an arc light, did they? Where, where, where is their arc light? What? I didn't even see it. Where was their arc light? It's dead now. That must be what killed my... Here it is. Crawlers, so bad. Ooh, I like win, but I don't, because I'm going to get outranged by the marksman, but then maybe the crawlers win. But then the arc lights kill the crawlers. So I think I lose here because I would... Mm, yeah, no, I definitely lose here. Because the outrange marksman. We need to fix that up with my phoenixes. So plus range marksman definitely doing the work for them that round. Now they got an arc light, which is pretty pretty makes sense. Oh, aerial specialist for even more range. Or even more arc lights. They're not going hard in the crowds I am. I want air specialist purely to just get longer range phoenixes here. Um, okay, and upgrade you may as well. What I want to do is... I haven't got many upgrades in general on my force. I don't really have the money to because, you know, reasons. I really, really, really want to get plus range on my phoenixes is the thing here. Even if I get less phoenixes because of it, I really, like, need to try and outrange them a bit more, I think. It's hard because they're probably going to go for elite marksmen as well and then they'll just outrange me anyway. Um, but at least it puts me at 170, which isn't as bad. It may be trying to beat them at a game I just can't, because they'll always be ahead of me with Marksman. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. While picking up another unit of Phoenixes, I'm tempted to like... Yeah, I'm actually tempted to like do this. Did I get Flank Specialist? Yeah, I did. And then this kills the Arclight. It's like the crab meme. This kills the, the arc light. This kills the arc light and the marksman nice and early. And then I can buy one more unit. And I almost feel like crawlers have just been working so well for me that like just more in my line here could be good. Did I not say at the start of the game like don't go harder in the crawlers? I kind of am. Okay, now hopefully I didn't put something here to perfectly fuck this. No, they didn't. And now it takes a second for the phoenixes to come in, but the phoenixes will come in. Interesting, they're getting phoenixes too. Takes out that. Helps kill the balls too, which is really nice. Remember, these aren't throwaway flanks. We're committing to these flanks. If I wasn't an elite specialist, I'd be trying to commit to both at once. Crawlers come into the center. Tie up balls, tie up phoenixes. My crawlers are busy with their balls and they go down, but also it means like while their balls are busy with this flank, they're not on the front line, so I just like win this flank really hard. They do beat me on mine, but now the power tower goes down, and now it's just can we get through their marksmen? And I'm really hoping the answer is yes. Yeah, because we're going to kill that arc light. They might get my tower, which might make this awkward. Nope. Nice! Aggro under the crawlers. Absolutely perfect. That's what we like to see. Uh, what we don't like to see is the Mustangs. Aha! Getting beaten. Never mind. Crawlers have so much freaking damage for their size. It's insane. Nice. So we've seen, like, the crawler variant of the strategy. The strategy in quotes here. And I don't know how I'm putting these videos out, but I'm recording a lot of them at once, so maybe, like, people have, like... I should stop using this bit as the joke of, like, I haven't named the strategy yet, because, like, I'm in the past uh, by a few days. But anyway, show reinforcements here. So, incendiary bomb. You think they're going to do that against my crawlers? I don't know if they... I need to spread wider. They might just, like, incendiary this part here. Smoke bomb um, against their marksmen is fine in general, I guess. I could incendiary them, but that that's bad, because that messes up my crawlers. Uh, they have range enhancement in general. Just emp them and then, like... But that's really expensive. 
I don't know what I want here, actually. I really don't. I need to pick something. Uh-oh, let's go smoke. We're gonna smoke like this, okay? Boop. We do upgrades where we can get them. I think it's pretty obvious to place something to get to aggro straight into my phoenixes there, so I'm just gonna place like a, a crawler unit there. And then I think this is the turn where like I do it on the other side as well. Like I go like this, and even if it doesn't kill them, oh I have the rhino drop in too, which is nice. Let's like go up the middle here. Did I place this right? I don't, I don't think I did. I was a bit rushed there because I took too long. Anyway, they're going to be busy with this for a second, if nothing else. They bought Rhinos, interestingly. Missile goes off and kills a Phoenix there. They've got missiles too? No, that's all my missiles. I deal with their rear Rhinos. I get their Paralysis Tower. And now it's just all of my stuff coming in to get them as... The, this entire chunk of their army is just busy dealing with these units for quite a while. I'm feeling in a good position here. Especially because my crawlers... This is what I'm talking about with, like... If I just did mass crawlers and it was line v line, they would just buy arc lights and destroy me. But the fact that I can go mass crawlers on three sides at once here makes it harder for them to just concentrate crowd control on a single point. They have to invest in crowd control for three sections at once, and that makes them weaker than my front line as well. Spectator set up things. You will win. There's a spectator. What the hell? This maybe is the time for the fortresses, as we talk about. To not keep doing the same thing. I don't have a lot of phoenixes, so I can just go harder in the phoenixes too. Like, everything they have is kind of good against fortresses. Balls. Marksmen. Maybe don't go into the forts. Just go harder into the marksmen here. E uh, sorry, phoenixes. Charged ammo. Maybe not charged ammo champ. Or maybe photon is disgusting here. Because you can do this. And win even harder. Hopefully. If you're frontline. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade complete. They have to like flank me back, I think, to, to mess me up at this point. The crawlers are doing so much this round, they're getting so, so level, which is awesome. We love to see it. Um, what did I say more phoenixes? Um, yeah, some phoenixes here to clean up all of this crap. Maybe another unit of crawlers in front too. Just to like tank for longer. Because it, it also works well against like by the way, they they cannot, like, stop this now. Like, that smoke is there, no, even if they shield now. But, like, it also stops, like, their ability to... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, to, to play this, like, ranged marksman spam game, where this player wants to just, like, spam tons of marksmen with, like, range and elite, and just, like, beat me with that. It really, like, limits their ability to do that. Um, let's go, like, 1-1. One, one. Let's get my upgrades. And let's also get um, speed specialist for this round, so that all my crawlers go hard. And then let's get a... Another unit of crawlers, or probably another unit of crawlers in the center. And then just play some more missiles again. Overlord. Now the Phoenix kills that, I think. The Phoenix is, if they can get through the line here well enough. Unfortunately, the Arc Light dies too quick to really tank, so I won't win on that side, but I think I get him on this side. Uh, meanwhile, there's just like nothing, like, <laughs> there's nothing on their front line, which I find funny. Like, we've distracted their entire army to fight on the flanks for the start of this battle. It's kind of harder to watch, so I do apologize for that. But, like, it's way better for me. Like, look at this. Like, by the... And especially with a fast-moving army, like, my crawlers are in place in the center. Because they're so busy dealing with my flanks, they just have nothing in front. Because they're so marksman-heavy, too. They just can't deal with the overwhelmingness. And with being so marksman-heavy, they just can't deal with the massive crawlers as long as I don't concentrate them to get crowd control. GG. Yeah, the overlords aren't, you know... They're bad there, but, like, it's kind of funny. Like, they've got Overlord Artillery here to, like, I think kill the Arclight. <laughs> like, imagine going, like, Overlord Artillery to do 24,000 damage to kill one Arclight. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Overlords aren't great against Crawlers either. They look okay once they sit still, but when Crawlers are moving, they're not great. Uh, and we have the Phoenixes here. The great thing about the Phoenixes is the Phoenixes then kill the Overlord. And I do like having the Phoenixes on the flank here, too, because then the enemy goes, okay, you know... You have Overlord. Uh, you have you have Aryans here in round two. You have Phoenixes. Okay, I get Mustangs. Okay, you have an Archive Armor Handsman. Okay, I get a Marksman. Okay, you you uh, you now have a Phoenix, and your Phoenix now kills the Marksman that's positioned to kill the Arclight, and you have Crawlers in front still. Oh no! 
And it's just that it's a continued thing of we're leading them down a path. We're do make we're getting them to do what we want them to do, or um, or to put it less smugly, we are expecting that they are probably going to do certain common things to the things we do as reactions that you see across a broad spectrum of players. And so we already are one step ahead. We are making the best use of having the initiative, as I try to always talk about. Initiative is very real in this game. If you're reacting, you're not proacting. You're not pro pro if you're reactive, you're not proactive in this game. And if you're leading the charge here, if you're dan or conversely, if you're dancing to someone else's beat, then you are predictable. And you are always going to be behind because while you're still trying to fix what they were doing, uh, beating you with yesterday, they're beating you with something new tomorrow or today. Um, and that's why being in the lead of the initiative and the tempo is such a real, tangible thing in this game and so important to think about in your mindset. Um, I, I think that I think the shield had to Cruelers probably did all right here. They probably did fine. Um, it, it meant at least they took like one more Arclight Barrage. And once we got the Phoenixes in here to kill the Arclight and the Marksman, it was just like, let's go. To, to, to say the most cursed content creator thing, let's go, emphatically. Like an Elcor, emphatically, let's go. Um, this flank was never as hard pushed the whole time, and I think never actually won. But just the fact that they're, it's so hard to deal with because of the combination of Crawlers and Arcs means that they're just busy here for so long that my army just comes forward and we have a great time. My army was pretty back deployed. I actually kind of did that here where it wasn't synergistic with the flanks because most of my army was back deployed and took a while to get into the fight. Even so, these flanks were so strong that they were still fighting by the, by the time the reserves mopped up. And that was really cool to watch them like sweep in. Um, I had a lot of money in the end of Elite Specialists there because my units are... Another nice thing, I guess, is a lot of the core units of this strat are pretty cheap. Crawlers are cheap. Arc lights are cheap. The tech for armor enhancement, which is the key to this, is cheap. Um, everything's pretty cheap here um, because I got to go like a lot of heavy crawlers. And usually I think when you go heavy crawlers like this, you just get countered by like a Vulcan or a bunch of arc lights. But in this case, or sledges. But in this case, because we were crawling from three different sides at once and it wasn't just crawlers... Um, you know, we had other stuff supporting the crawlers, taking out the arc lights and stuff. Worked out really nicely. They never were quite able to just be like, stop this. Um, you know what I mean? Which, which is cool. Because, like, even if they'd just gone for, like, a Vulcan, they'd have to go more arc lights. Because if they go for a Vulcan, the Vulcan actually, I don't think, can kill the arc light with its damage. M maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Not at level 2 anyway. Uh, yeah, and we just kept them. We pulled them apart like we do with this strat. Um, it's a good time. Uh, yeah. Da 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 da. I can't say the rest of it in consecutive order because I'll probably get sued, but I am loving it. I am loving this strat. It, it, it's very, like, aggressive and knocks the enemy off foot uh, while still being kind of defensive. And also, it's, like, surprising, but it's not cheese. It's, like, balance. Like, it's just, like, a balanced force that is still good even if you, quote marks, counter it. Like, if you, now that you know it's coming, it still doesn't just fall over. I think cheese is generally defined by it only works if you don't know someone's going to do it to you is how I've always heard in the StarCraft times cheese defined. Um, you know, it's not everyone's definition. But in this case, yeah, like, it's not in that sense. You know, it, even though you, you see it there, round on round on round, it remains a problem in your side. And even if you put something down to defeat it, I can add new things to this composition, like the Phoenix is killing the Ark and the Marksman, to kill your answers, and we're just fighting three battles at once. So there you go. Another one. See ya, see ya entry. Tree, tree ant, see ya. All right, we're just gonna keep doing it. I kind of got to lose soon so that I can do a... I don't know, like, I've recorded a bunch of matches at this point. How... What is this, like, two, three matches into the future now? The comments are probably all screaming. People are like, please, Beagle, stop winning. Do any other strat. Please, Beagle. I mean, we've only, like, played three rounds, so <laughs> I don't think it's so bad. But, you know, someone's going to beat it. If no one beats it in the next couple of rounds, I'll, do, I'll record some different strats just to be different. Um, for variety's sake, and I'll space these ones out. Speaking of which, uh-oh, let's play the game. Cost Control Specialist, Fangs and Phoenixes. Uh, a bit scary. Um, Supply Specialist Balls, uh, Crawls and Phoenixes. Mm, I feel like Cost Control is really bad for reasons we've discussed for both reasons here. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how it works, because again, remember, losing teaches us things. So let's see. We, we now know from the last match I played with this on YouTube that I can take out... I can I can pull it off of Elite Specialist. Now let's see the opposite. Can we do it with Cost Control Specialist? Gain an extra 100 supply each round. Although last last time we, we did Crawl Reserve Fangs, to be fair, but it was different. It still worked. Still the same idea. Um, get an extra 100 supply every round, but the attack of all units is reduced by 15%, and the HP is reduced by 15%. Um, enemy is Rhino Reinforcements. Pretty simple. They get a level 2 Rhino on round 3. The big thing here is the breakpoints of the Phoenixes. Um, may not now be able to one-shot units as hard. Like here, they're not going to be able to one-shot the Sledges, and that is a... 
a big old problem for me. Now, what's 15%? Sorry, 10%. What's 10% of 2776? I'm going to alt tab. Hang on. Wait, wouldn't that just be... No time. Don't do math. 2776 though, right? So 2776 is 350. So now I can't one shot the sledges anymore. That is why I was immediately going like, uh oh, like this probably isn't great for me with, you know, how cost control works out here. What can I do to deal with that? Early marksmen will deal with the sledges better. Or I could go like crawlers of my own or arcs. I mean, I still will beat them and they're likely to go stangs. I gotta build something. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I, I gotta build something here. Took too long to talk. I'm roping myself is who I'm roping. There we go. And we're just gonna save the money for next round to react to what they do. So they buy. Oh, they can't get Mustangs around them. They're gonna get Fangs, of course. So Arclights are still good there, though. So all we need to do here is just have the arc lights and fangs kill the crawlers and fangs, which they should do, and then the phoenixes mop up the sledges. I don't have a, I don't have an arc light in the middle. That's the problem. I needed to be ready for this. This always, this always, always happens. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. This always happens with two arc lights start instead of three. Is you get run over by crawlers in the middle. But the phoenixes, I think, might just be able to handle it. No. So that's my fault. If I had an arc light, if my arc lights have been positioned more in the center, I'd do better in this round. Or if I'd like, I don't know, just play something in the center different. Anyway, I'm going to lose here, though, because of that. Probably. Uh, the only way here is... No, it's going to kill my tower again. If I'd killed this sledge, I'd be all right, because I would have killed the fangs before they get in range. As it is, I'm going to get paralyzed twice. And that is going to be my death knell. Unless... Oh, just kill it and start killing the fangs. I can still win here, because fangs are low range. Oh, they're already in range. Oh, I think I think there's too many left. There's too many left. It's close here, but yeah, the fangs will get onto me, and I can't kill them before they reach me and do the critical mass. So that's all right. We need an arc light in the center for sure. We can spend a lot, a lot of units with cross control. Is the idea? Rage Rhino. Maybe I should place my own Rhino to face their Rhino early. Phoenixes will be more phoenixes in general. Will be good against them too. Getting range on one of my phoenixes would be good. Haste module. I could get my own Rhino of Haste Module 2 and try to level it up this round, or even Elite Recruit it. Um, how much would that cost? That would cost 50 to unlock it, 550, 100 for Elite Recruitment, 450. Uh, the Rhino then is 200, 300, 450, 300. I can still buy another unit of Phoenixes. It's a level 2 unit that goes hard and is there to stop you before you get yours in. And it plays you at your own game, and none of your units are particularly good against it yet. You're probably going to get some Marksman or whatever, but... Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do haste module. Elite recruited. Rhino. And another arc in the center. Oh, and I get to get it, make it be a level 2 arc. I forgot. That actually works out perfectly. That works out really, just really nicely there. That's, that's good. So have it be like this. So you don't get missile too hard in the center. Um, the, the Reno. Reno. Oh, we'll bring over here to like run into the enemy's sledges. They're gonna be level up and kill the level up sledges first. Uh, I'm gonna kill the crawlers first and then take out these level two fangs next. Okay, let's see how this works for me. Oh, I forgot they even have storm crawlers. No, they just bought them. <laughs> I was gonna say, forgot. They just bought them. So that's going to slaughter my fangs pretty nicely in the middle there. Uh, it's not going to be good against the Rhino though, but I need to hold and not let my towers fall too easily here. The level 2 Arclight is going to have a pretty good timing as level 1 Stormcaller is in general. Not too bad, they're going to survive a decent amount there. Before it goes down, it kills most of the middle. And now my level 2 Rhino with 5 more speed at 21 movement speed and 40% increased attack is going to have a really good time of your storms. Very angry Rhino moving at incredible speeds. Now they're going to bring in their own Rhino, and again, I wanted to get in front of it before they get their Rhino down. So that now I have I have the same thing, you know. Improved Fortress. HP by 50%, movement speed by 3, and increases recruitment cost by 100. That could be really, really good for later. I don't want to go too much harder into Rhinos or Giants. I don't want to lure them into lasers. I want them to not get lasers. I want maybe even go more Phoenixes. And then later, we could use this to pull out the improved Forts to slaughter everything they have, you know, possibly by then. Oh my god, though, there's Intelligent Arc Light on the field. And I have Elite Marksman. Okay, we might just need to go for that. They have a lot of crowds. 
Okay, never mind. We have to go for int intelligent arc light to double their XP gain rate. That looks so juicy. Especially because you know what we're going to do on the flanks, right? Uh, is this the turn to do it? I think this is the turn to do it. I was winning on the flanks. You've got to be a little careful because they've got the level 2 Rhino. Mm, maybe don't do the flank strat this turn because if that's on one of the flanks, it just d deletes one of those flanks. Maybe, and if it's one of your flanks, it's a problem. Maybe just go harder on the Phoenixes this turn, I think. Get level 2 ones. Get level 2 ones. I want to be ready for the enemy to do Rhino placed in flank on me, and I want to be ready in general for that Rhino anyway. Um, but yeah, like, well, I want to go for the center too, because it, it might just run down the center. I'm a bit scared here. I want to have the Phoenixes ready for if it comes on my flanks, but I'm also worried that the Rhino will just walk down the center. We'll see. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, the Rhino's on the flank, so it's good. Level 2 Phoenix should do a pretty good job at killing that. Maybe not quick enough, but we'll see. Three of them will help. And enemy balls are really scary here. I feel like I'm going to lose this tower. Unless the Phoenixes hurry up and kill the balls. That might be what we needed. I still win really hard on that side, but I think the balls are going to get my tower too good here. Maybe I should have columned the uh, Phoenixes. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have column formation the Phoenixes so that they don't waste their shots on the same ball. I can jump drive them and actually do that. Might be wise here, because you can see them wasting their shots a bit. Um, now, if I lose this command center and get paralyzed too early, it might be bad against the fangs, because the stormcrawlers are about to hit my tower, which is going to ruin everything. But I think I just killed all the fangs, so I think I just auto win now. I'd like to not let the stormcrawlers level. Oh, no, they've already leveled. It doesn't matter if they kill this. They've already leveled. So this doesn't matter if they get this, because they've already hit their level up cap. And you can't take XP into the next level before you've leveled up, I think. So Phoenixes was good there, I think. Phoenixes was good. We can expect some Mustangs or, you know, more Fangs with range upgrades, uh, Overlords, Wasps, anything against that. So it's probably a good time to go for our flanks now. I can I can get Rage Rhino, but I think what I want even more is just to go Supply Specialist and open up my economic advantage even harder. I do feel like we need some more frontline... But I also think I can pull the balls back into, like, bad matchups. Because they're so forward deployed, too. It feels like this is the time to go for those flanks, you know? Like, this is the moment. This is the time. They're probably going to go for the Mark's Men's. Um, give me some... Crawlers or Fangs? Crawlers or Fangs? They have Storms, so go Crawlers. Just like against the Mark's Men. Give me some of this. Okay. I want to actually pull these balls back. Not that much. I don't want to pull the sledges into me as a thing. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. That kind of works. Okay, and then we're gonna go armor enhancement on the arcs. Place an arc on the side. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, etc. And then go for another unit. Um, and let's go probably even more crawlers here. I probably should have gone phoenixes instead. It's too late. So that I don't just immediately fall down and die here, we're going to do a bunch of missiles. That's probably too many missiles. Oh well. I'm cost control specialist. Money is my... Money is my thing. I'm going to kill those balls which are breaking through to my front line. They put a missile in the center. My crawlers are on your towers now. You don't even get the Mustang, which is interesting. But that's fine because it doesn't matter. The great thing about this is it's not just a cheese. It doesn't matter if you don't overreact to anti-air because, hey, I'll just take your flank anyway. Though in this case the crawlers go for the units, but it doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna go help the Rhino. Some of them get in on the tower, which is great. And you are not looking good, Stormcrawlers. You are not looking in a good, in a good position. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Being allowed to sit up on the flank like this without even an answer is nice. Now I put Phoenixes on this flank and do it again on the other side, I think. Deployment specialist would be nice. I don't get it. I get uh, intensive training. <sighs> oh, intensive training. I can't resist. I, I can never resist intensive training. I love it. I love it. Um, you got to go crowd control here. Like, I wonder if you'll try to get more storms. More arcs. You don't even see maybe the problem with the armor enhanced arc lights yet. Um, I think some phoenixes on the sides. Here, upgrade everyone. we got lots of really good upgrades to do here. Oh, I can do this as well. I can double upgrade you to level 4 instantly, which is so messed up. I get a cheap upgrade here for wreckage recycling to get your health up throughout the match. Now I have 500 left to play with. Um, 
I think putting like mm -mm 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 -mm. okay let's get jump drive I think putting like one unit of phoenixes here for whatever like anti-crowd you might do against me is good um, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this on the other side okay we're gonna do the El Clasico as we like to do as we like to do around here I want to like just pull the balls back again but not too many sledges yeah, okay, that'll do. And what else did I want to do here? Um, just more phoenixes. Oh, shit. More missiles again, I think. The missiles, I think, really help. Okay. Have I done enough? They have nothing to stop the flank over here. We just pull some crawlers back. They missile. The missile gets the arc light, so this flank won't work. But we have another one, which is going to do pretty nice. If it gets in in time, is the question. We do pull their frontline apart still. I never committed to my own frontline very hard here. Which might be a problem, because I think they're about to get in on my tower. No, I've got enough to defend. I have level 3 arc light with armor enhancement. I never get their flank here, though. But I'm not so weak that I'm losing the frontline either. It's still scrappy here. That level 4 rhino with wreckage recycling. Having a pretty good time. Healing. Healing. Heal it up so that one marksman can't kill you so easy. Bum 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 bum. Come on, y'all. Let's do it. Get a sledge. Heal off those sledges. Let's go. It's not a big win, but I didn't go into dead either, so it's fine. And I just stopped these Mustangs. They said GG. No, you're still in it, buddy. You, I'm not going to do enough damage here. You're still in it. Not quite. Unless they're going to surrender. In the GSL. Ooh, don't get this now because I have enough phoenixes down already. It's bad. In the GSL, you would be uh, disqualified for saying that. You'd have to concede now. You'd have to leave. Aerial specialist for more range on phoenixes is always fun. Um, we could do amplifying core. Is it fortress time? My frontline feels a bit weak. Maybe it's fortress time. It might be fortress time. Especially because their balls are busy. And I've got a decent amount of phoenixes. It might be fortress time, I think. So go for the Yamplifying Core for that, actually. Okay. And they're gonna have to be level 1 Fortresses, but that should be fine. Couple of these. Yum yum. Bring them in. And their job here is to... Uh, let's put that on you. Their job here is to fight the enemies. Rhino, for one. And just, like, provide more frontline in general. I think I need to go into... Or I should go into debt here and do the, like, line of missiles again, which is just really punishing. Especially if I can do it like this. I can actually, like... Take out their units on the way in. If they don't shield them, which so far they haven't been. Just do a bunch of missiles. Let me place that one there. Too late. And Fortresses will get through the shield nicely. What do they get? Uh, HP absorption on the balls. Interesting choice. Fortress, single target, wrecks the enemy rhino. Will kill the balls really quickly as long as the arc light will support getting rid of the crawlers, which it does. Uh, my flank's still not doing amazing on this side. Still not, like, winning or anything. Does tie up their units, but, like, they have, like, a nice strong answer there. But hopefully, while they're winning the flanks, they lose the main fight. Let's see. That level 4 Rhino is so strong. I love to see it. Look at it go. And the, the 100 cost for Wreckage Recycling is so strong here. I really, uh, like a week or so ago, changed up my upgrades. So that rather than taking what I thought was the best in all cases, I started taking things so that I had as many cheap techs on as many units as I could. Because it, you can't afford everything in this game. But it can be really good to just like have a 100 cost tech on each unit if you can afford to and it's still effective and you still want it. Because then you can just throw it on without thinking. Like, the Rhino here, I couldn't afford any of the big ones, but just throw on that wreckage recycling that keeps it that much more alive. GG. Um, you know, it's cool. Like, Jump Drive is always like that for flying units. Um, it's why it's why Arc Lights are so dominant with this, because Armor Enhancement is so cheap. Um, having, like, just one cheap tech you can get on each of your units in your formation helps you to end a round with all of your units having something rather than, you know, most of your units never getting anything and you only concentrating on one type of unit. So, 
Uh, a bit different there again, we had like the early Rhino so that the, their defining feature of Rhino Specialist was actually became mine. I didn't, I never wanted them to be able to just like walk around and be stomping me because it can be scary sometimes when that level 2 Rhino comes in on a flank and you just don't know what's going on with it. Um, my flanks never really did amazing here because they were they defended against them well, right? So they never did amazing in combat sense. But because so they put the sledges here, they put the mustangs here to you know get through the crawlers and stuff. Um, the sledges kill it's called cool crawlers as well and can kill the arc lights. And so together, you know, it, it's going to work out just fine. Also, level two mustangs. Did they elite recruit these? Level two mustangs can get through the level one arc light because they never were really killing too hard. Um, and they're aggroing onto the sledges there instead of the Mustangs, so they're never going to get many kills. Um, and the same on both sides, like, this opponent was like, no, we're going to shut those flanks down. We're going to go sledges, Mustangs, balls, screw your flanks. The nice thing, though, about that is it wasn't, as we say with the strat, it's not about having to even win on the flanks. It's about you are now fighting on three different spots at once, and in the end, to win the round, you only need to win from one side. So while the opponent is busy, for one, investing to stop these flanks in these fights, um, which, you know, took them a while to get through, which is the important part. While the opponent is investing in that, they are not fighting the front line. And, you know, you got to balance it because my front line was pretty, pretty like, flimsy the whole way through because of that. Um, you know, I never had a lot on the front line. I didn't, I didn't start with sledges but on the front line that usually would make it a bit beefier. And that was a bit hairy in some places. And I think I, I, think I really uh, compensated for that by, like, spamming missiles in these last two rounds where I felt like I could just get the win by continuing to, like, just spam their units. Um, because they were really hard pressed of all their tech, unit upgrades, uh, elite recruitment and everything too. They couldn't afford a lot of shields, so you can... And, and, and their forward deploys, you can just put the missiles here and they'll like kill them when they step into your side. They can't shield your side of the line. Um, but yeah, like, the flanks didn't do a job of like taking out the towers much this game, but they did do a job of forcing you to fight on the flanks. Um, and that's why I placed the crawlers specifically in a position where they would pull these balls, because these balls, together, were breaking through my front really hard. So by pulling, like, some of the unit of balls, most of them here, and I think just one of them here, but by pulling some of the balls away, um, I would have liked to pull more in hindsight, um, we were able to then, like, have our front line hold, but it was looking a bit hairy sometimes. Um, it's also great because the rhino comes in and cleans up, um, and the phoenix is there to kill the balls. And because they didn't have that many phoenixes, it's good to like give us a bit more time. By being busy here on their flanks, they're not pushing my towers, which gives my phoenixes, which are in a limited number in this match, a bit more time to work through their rhino and balls. And once the forts came in, they really helped with that as well. So, yeah, I liked it. This is the first time we actually saw it go long enough to, and that we wanted to get the forts in as well. And they were a really good choice here, I think. Well, they were a good choice here. Let's not buff myself up too much. They were pretty good here, because the big thing about the forts, I think on the left, weren't a Vulcan would have been better. A Vulcan would have been better over here because it would have killed, they were very swarm heavy. Um, but Forts is still quite tanky, and my front line was just not tanky. My front line didn't have the starting sledges, um, just fangs that died very quickly. The arc lights cannot tank on their own, you know, except with armor enhancement against certain things. But they're not like a tank replacement, you want like a sledge line that doesn't die so quick to marksmen and stormcrawlers. So the Forts like kind of helped out there later on, it's like, okay, I've never really invested in my front line much. Suddenly let's pop down like, a couple of fortresses, boom, suddenly front line. And it worked out real nice, you know, we, we we didn't push through an either flank, but then the front line comes in and mops up afterwards, kills shields, kills rhinos, kills anything else big you build. I've got phoenixes in case you build overlords. It's a good time. No, I liked it. Um, one other thing I should have done in, in hindsight differently, I guess, is column deployed my phoenixes instead, so that uh, I noticed that the phoenixes were wasting their shots. Two would shoot the same ball at once, it seemed in cases, and like waste their fire. I think deploying the phoenixes in column would have fixed that, and I forgot to do that. I should have done it when I got jump drive. And in the future I'll consider that against ball comps. Um, I, or, or like sledge comps as well. I'll consider columning my phoenixes so that they definitely don't waste their shots as much, or they hopefully don't. Anyway, another good round. GG to uh, Muck187, and on to the next ones. Hope you enjoyed it.